Hey, hey, welcome everybody. Threat hunting with Rita and Zeke. That is what we're going to be digging into today. Super important. I won't bore you with too much chit chat, so uh, let's just dig in. I mean, you clicked on this for a reason. You know what it's about. So uh, let's start with what Rita is exactly. Rita, uh, Real Intelligence Threat Analytics. Let's go over here. I'll leave these links down below so you can kind of follow along. But uh, yeah. Real Intelligence Threat Analytics is an open source framework for detecting command and control communication through network traffic analysis. The Rita framework ingests Zeek logs. We'll talk about Zeek later, uh, or PCAPs converted to Zeek logs for analysis. So, uh, beacon, beacon analysis, guys. That's what Rita's all about. Command and control communication, detecting that. Uh, you know, you can dump a bunch of PCAPs. Uh, you can log a bunch of PCAPs, but, you know, if you don't have, like, tools to help you detect you know bad behavior then you're kind of blind you just got a bunch of pcaps you know so that's what we're going to start off with uh getting rita installed so here's the rita github page here uh let's dig into some documentation uh rita provides an install script works on ubuntu we're going to be on kali okay so this is kali 2022.2 and that is what we're going to be loading rita on here so um there is a workaround. Uh, you're not really supposed to, I guess, uh, do it on Kali, but uh, we're going to do this workaround here with the manual install. So let's dig into here, see what we got. Okay, Rita requires Mongo. So that's where we're going to start. Mongo. Why are we installing Mongo? Mongo is a database. Uh, you don't have to be a database pro. Uh, I don't know much about databases, too. You know, configuring them will make it super easy. Don't worry. Uh, so the reason why we need Mongo is to store all the info related to these beacons that we're getting from Rita, uh, extracted from our PCAPs, packet captures, after they've been processed by Zeek. So that is why we need this. And very important, I made a mistake and did the 5.0. We want to do the 4.2, okay? Very key. So let's follow this page here and see what we're dealing with. Here are the instructions for Mongo install. Uh, let's go with the community edition for Debian, Kali, Debian, okay. It's got that Debian flavor in Kali, okay. Overview, MongoDB 4.2, very important, okay. I was just uh, digging around and I, I found 5.0 and it just, <laughs> Rita was not working with it, so. Uh, let's go down here, okay, MongoDB community edition. Let's start with this, Okay. Just go ahead and uh, copy that into your command line there. Okay. All right. It says okay. Let's read here. Operation should respond with okay. So we got that. All right. Moving on. If you received anything else, we received okay. So we could skip this. Okay. Create a uh, directory here. Okay. Our list, our file for Mongo. Okay. Let's go ahead and do step two. Click copy here. Uh, back to the command prompt. And we'll just go ahead and. Copy that in there. Okay, next, a reload local package database with the sudo apt update. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And I'll, I'll tick the Y on there to say yes to everything. Uh, remember, I am on the root account, so we don't need to add the sudo there. So, But if you are on any other account, you will have to add sudo if you have those sudo privs. So we're going to let this roll here looking good that is all done okay next install the mongodb packages so let's go ahead and do that simple copy and paste right here and if you want to paste in the command line you do uh, control shift shift v and control shift c if you want to copy things from this command line here all right let's begin here we go I'll let this roll looking good This is going to be exciting, guys. This will really set you apart uh, from many others. You know, many just like, all right, security plus, I'm finished, you know. Give me the job. But nah, man, you got you to gotta be getting in them labs, you know what I'm saying? Get in them labs. Okay. All righty. Next, we're going to run Mongo Community Edition here. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and start the Mongo process here with the system CTL. And we'll also enable it. So, uh, you know, when you boot up, every time you boot up your machine, it's going to start up at MongoDB. So let's go ahead and start it real quick. 
Which one was that? I'll go ahead and just copy this. Much easier. Okay. All right. So uh, to do this, I just did up. We're gonna check the status of this. Make sure everything's running as it should. And we are looking good. We're loaded. We're active. Okay. And let's also enable this. Okay. Okay. All right. So that, like I said, enable. So once you reboot your machine, it will automatically start this MongoDB. So you don't have to keep on running this system to CTL start. So, okay. Uh, we should be good now with the MongoDB. Okay, next. Moving on to Rita. Okay, back to the manual install. Like I said, we did the MongoDB, so we're moving on to the next step here. By cloning the reader from source. Let's go ahead and do that. And I like to put this in the op folder here. So that's where programs go usually. So I'm going to pop that in there. Git clone. Let's get it in there, guys. Here we go. Are you guys getting excited? I know I am. Okay. All right. So we got Rita in there. What is the next step? Okay. Let's change into the Rita directory and run the make command. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And then run the make command. Okay. Okay, looking good, looking good. What is next? This will yield read a binary and current directory. You can use make install to install a binary to prefix make install. Okay, so this is essentially making it to where we can just run the command Rita straight from the command line like this. See how it's green like that? Let me let it turn blue. So let's do a make install here. Okay. See, now it's uh, blue. So it is a command now. Awesome. Okay, now next we need to add a few directories here. So let's go ahead and do this. This is making a directory in the Etsy folder, Rita, and it's giving it some uh, privileges here. So let's go ahead and copy that, pop that in there. Like I said, Control Shift V to paste in the command line. Okay, we did that. And let's grab this one too. Oopsies. Okay. Okay, those directories are made. Copy the config file from your local Rita source code. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Looking good, looking good. Okay, that's all finished. Okay, at this point, you can modify the config file as needed, and we need to test this using the Rita test config, which is stated over here somewhere. Oh, we lost it. Hang on. Here it is, Rita test config. So that's what we need to do. Okay, see how we're looking. This is what we want to see right here. Make sure there's no errors. Okay, looking good, looking good. I think Rita is finished, guys. Okay, so moving on to Zeke. What is Zeke? Okay, it used to be called Bro back in the day, but uh, changed the name to Zeke. Uh, it's a network monitoring tool that is well supported and updated, guys. So the guys over there, they're getting to work. They're hammering it down, doing well, doing good work out there. So like I said, endpoint data is great, but really at the end of the day, you know, all attacks have to flow through a network, which makes having, you know, a clean, crisp network monitoring tool like BroZeek is essential for that, you know, frontline defense. I mean... Zeke will pretty much make sense of all those PCAPs your organization is collecting. Uh, if you're collecting them and all and parse them to make them easy to understand, that's what's happening in your network. Uh, you can't just collect a bunch of PCAPs. Like I said, it's just it's just not organized and it's just gross, really. So that's kind of what Zeke helps with. It uh, kind of makes your PCAPs easier to read, 
and whatnot. So it is a little difficult to set up. So, but we can do it together. Okay. So let's dig in. With Zeke, yeah, you're going to run into some dependency issues probably. So let's go ahead and deal with those. I'll leave this link down below here. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay. So we got some required libraries we need before we get digging into all this. Okay. So we are running on Debian. So let's go ahead and get this. Get all these. Get all this goodness here. Okay, back to the command line. Here we go, baby. Uh, yes on that. Okay, so these are the things we need to get Zeke working. So very key, very important. Okay, now, let's run app info with Zeke, and let's learn a little more about this Zeke thing. What in the world is it? Okay, primarily a security monitor that expects all traffic on a link in depth for signs of suspicious activity. More generally, however, Zeek supports a wide range of traffic analysis tasks even outside of security domain, including performance measurements. Okay. Awesome. So this is really gonna with Zeek and Rita together, I mean I mean you got all you need for that network monitoring, for that threat hunting. That network threat hunting. That's what we're out. That's what we're about today. So Okay, all right, so we got the info. Let's go ahead and install it. I can spell, that'll be good. Alrighty, yep. You can tack a dash Y on the end of that, skip the Y, but. Okay, all right, that was easy, right? All right we're not quite finished yet. There's this other thing we need called Zeke Cut. This is kind of like a, a grep for Zeke as you're going through the Zeke logs. You could use this thing called Zeke Cut, and it's really awesome. So, um, you'll see the power of it. But uh, let's first install it, okay? It's how we do the threat hunting, essentially, on these PCAPs and really dial in to what's not normal in the PCAP. So, okay, first we need to, we need Zeke Ox for that. So uh, let's go ahead and open up this link here. I'll post it below. Don't worry. Okay. So Zeke Ox. So in this little search bar here. Let's search for that. Okay, Zeke Ox. Here we go, baby. Looking good. Okay, this has all a little. Okay, so let's get the git file actually here. Zeke Ox. Let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go back to opt here. So, changing the directory previous, I guess. Yeah, back in your out folder here. And let's go ahead and pop that in there. Oh, we need to get clone that. You can control A to get to the beginning of the line there, but uh, get clone. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's in there. Let's see what we got in here. Z cut. We're not quite finished yet. Don't get excited. Okay. All right, next. There are more dependencies needed. CMake. Okay. So we're going to need CMake as well. So let's go ahead and go back to the previous page, back where you see this little search bar. Let's type in C name, not C name. <laughs> CMake. All right, there she is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get clone this and pop this in this folder. Okay, Zeke Ox. Okay, got it. Okay, now we can finally run. What did it say to run here? Where are we at? Hang on. Let's go back to Zeke Ox. So we can follow our directions here. Okay, installation is simple and standard. Okay, let's just do this uh, little dash configure here. Okay, get that compiling going. Okay, next, make and then make install. Let's go ahead and do that. And then make install. Okay. Now we're going to do updated B here to update our files here. We've got a lot of new files in there. So uh, if we want to locate things, we need to update this by running this command. So it just updates the 
the database of like your files so you can locate them. This is for the locate command you'll see here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now let's locate Zeek Cut. Where you add Zeek Cut. Okay, here it is right here. See, we can't like run it as a command now, you know? It doesn't know what that is. So we need to add it into our environment. So we can do like an echo path. So every every little command you run is it's it's searching through these directories to find that command and it can't find Zeke cut so uh, we're gonna add that into our path so we found it here right so we go ahead and copy that with control shift C on that and then we're gonna use the move command and we can add it to one of these paths here so let's just do user bin here okay so Okay, good to go. And Zeke cut is showing up blue. That means it's a, it is a command. It is a program. It's in the path. Zeke is able to run now. Okay, so uh, we're going to wrap it up there. We have everything set up. So, we're, I mean, Rita set up. Our MongoDB is set up. Zeke is set up. And Zeke cut. So, those are the things you need to do some threat hunting. And we'll get to that in the next video. So, Hey, uh, hope you guys made it. If you got any questions, uh, just pop them down below and uh, we'll try to work through them, okay? But uh, congrats if you got through it. You're ready to start threat hunting now. This is when it gets fun, guys. So here we go, baby. All right. Talk to y'all later.